Live their hormone surging, zit popping, awkward talking glory days. <laughs> Being trans needs hunched shoulders, clothes too big, and undershirts too tight. We're all working together to hide those curves your mother told you would come in handy one day. <laughs> Being trans means saying fuck you to a binary more constricting than the ace bandages we wrap around our chests. Being trans means looking over your shoulder at every unrecognizable sound when walking home at night just in case someone heard you talking or stumbled onto your blog or recognized those bumps under your shirt as more than just an accidental crease in the fabric. Being trans means wondering if they'll still be attracted to you when they learn what you do or do not have under your clothing. Being trans means wondering if those statistics are really true and if you will be one of them one day. I am not a statistic. I am a man, not trapped in a woman's body, but trapped in other people's perceptions of what it is to be man or woman. My life is a package wrapped in comic strips, proving that no matter what God is up there, they definitely have a sense of humor. By age 18, I had my whole life planned out. I was going to be a film composer. I was going to marry my straight girlfriend, move to London, have four kids, two dogs, and a cat. I would be interviewed about being the first out lesbian film composer and would write the score for the new Harry Potter films. You know, when they did them right. <laughs> By the time I turned 21, that future had disappeared into an alternate reality I never wished to visit. I had come out as trans, fallen in and out of love more times than I wish to admit, changed my major and my name, left music world, and entered into a world filled with more color and personality than I could ever have imagined. Yes, my life had changed. Yes, I had dragged my heels, head hitting B, L, G, and Q, and every letter in between before finally accepting the T. Because back then, to me, being trans meant being marginalized. Being trans meant being an ugly dra drag king. Being trans meant being a freak on the street. Being trans meant losing everybody and everyone. Yes, I was transphobic. I was a little Italian Catholic Wisconsin boy from a small city with a small town mentality, scared of my own shadow, which is probably why I tripped over it so much. Being a transphobic trans man means being afraid to look myself in the eye means leaving my dreams behind, means asking questions and avoiding the answers, means laughing at away uncomfortable thoughts and making jokes of the things you'd rather not think about. Being, tran the, being a transphobic trans man means tears, means pain, means panic attacks in the middle of the day, means everything being clear and nothing making sense. Everything was clear. Everything was here, right in front of me, staring me in the face after 20 years of hiding in the space between unanswered questions, questionable dreams, and dreamlike trips to the other side of the department store. After 20 years, that space had turned into a cavern too large to ignore. I had become too queer to fit through the closet door. After 20 years of living in the wrong skin, in an attempt to fit in, I stepped into the space and learned that being trans means being breaking free. Being trans means starting clean. Being trans means being me.